everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really lovely, very elegant, twisted gatefold card. Um, it's Wednesday, so all the products, well, some of the products are used um, are from the April Hobby Base um, craft kit. All the information is always in my description box below and links to my blog where you can find out more information about that. Um, but this theme for this month was A Taste of Morocco. So the papers I've used here are these gorgeous Moroccan printed ones and the same with this one here. Um, I've made this rosette myself and then inside I've used the foils that also come and this lovely sentiment here, cherish yesterday, live today and dream for tomorrow. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous card. So it will go in the envelope like so. Um, it will fit in a five by seven card size envelope on your um, envelope punch board. Again, I'll put all the information for that in my blog. Um, and then it stands up beautifully like so. Obviously you're looking down, that doesn't look that great, but trust me, from this side it looks lovely. Um, this is from a piece of nine by six um, cardstock, but there are lots and lots of other tutorials on YouTube with other dimensions. So this is my take on it. So I hope you like it. And today we're gonna use an orange tone because the other papers that come in the kit, we got loads of papers this month, which was great. And these ones here, I'll just show you the two that I've selected, these orange ones, which again are really lovely. So I'm using orange um, cardstock as my um, main color for this one. So we received um, these foils, which I showed in the unboxing video. So we've got two meters of the Crafter's Companion foil. And then we also got these masks, um, foil transfers, sorry, um, to use as well. So I am going to do this next card with the Mr. and Mrs. So I'm gonna do a nice wedding card. But you can see there's some of the um, sentiments there, but then the other prints here, I mean, there's loads um, of different ones. Um, I think we, we all got different ones in our boxes as well. Um, but that's what I like about the box. It gives you things that I maybe wouldn't buy usually, but it's nice to kind of put me out of my comfort zone sometimes and, and use those things. And I've been really pleased since January receiving the box. Um, so yeah, once again, if you want to find out more, just look at the links below. So that's, I'll put that to one side. We also got all these um, embellishments here and these are gold faceted ones. So I'm gonna use those. So cardstock, like I said, you need a piece of nine by six. Okay, then I have got this piece here is going to be this middle bit. All right, so whatever color or design you want for that bit, you will need two and three quarters by five and five eighths. All these measurements will be in my blog as well, but I know some of you do write them down as I say them. Um, then you need this piece here is to do this um, mat here to give you this white background. Um, and that is two and five eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. Then to mat on top of that, so this pattern piece, you need a piece of two and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then to do this back one here, I think it's the same as the original white one, which is two and five eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. Okay, then to create your rosette, you need a piece of whatever default card it is that you're using. So whether it's 12, it's A4, or it's letter paper at 11 inches, it will be fine. And then you wanna cut that so it's one inch um, wide. And then I've just got two little die cut circles here. A little bit still in the middle there, get rid of that. Um, and that is just to decorate and hold together your rosette on the front and also on the back there, because it makes it obviously tidy and pleasing to the eye which is what we want. So let me just pop all that there. Grab your cardstock and you are gonna score two easy score lines, one at three and one at six. Okay, get rid of your scoreboard. Keep hold of your stylus. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Let me grab my ruler. And basically what we want to do is we're gonna do one score line from, that's just falling over. We're gonna do, so you've got three panels, one, we go one, two, three. Catch it on the, there we go. One, two, three. On this first panel here, we're going to score from the top right hand side of that panel down to the bottom left. Okay. And then on the end one here, we're going to do the same. So it'd be the top right hand corner down to the bottom left. Okay. So just with my stylus, put your stylus down first at the point, then get the ruler down. Make sure you get them bang on 
because having those sharp points is what makes the cards so nice and elegant and really well finished. So just make sure that you really do spend some time getting those lined up. If you want to draw a pencil first, some people prefer to do that. That is okay. Right. So that is what you should have. So you can see now I've got my two diagonal score lines here on the first and the last panel, and then my three and my six inch score line. Then just using your finger, don't use your, um, your bone folder yet to burnish, because I always find whenever you're working with like real nice kind of sharp points and stuff, do it with your fingers first and then go over it when you're happy that it's all in place. Because if you really do finish it and burnish it first, it's harder to kind of correct, correct those score lines. Then with this one here, you want to just fold it, um, no, you want to fold it out, sorry. So just flip it over or just do it that way, it doesn't really matter. And this is what I mean by just using your th finger and your thumb by making sure that you get that really nice point. And when that's folded over, you want to make sure that your card's not ripping and that you're just getting it just up to the score line. Okay, like so. And then this one, fold it over and then fold it out. Again, get your ruler and just lift it up against that. And then you can fold it right over. Once it's all in place, then by all means burnish it more just to really flatten it down. But there you will see now when that all flat, folds flat, there is our twisted gatefold card. So really, really easy. And like I said, now I can just grab my bone folder and just go over all those creases and it will all lie nice and flat like so okay so now we can just sit that to one side or stand it up because it will stand up nicely and <clears throat> with all of these pieces so one two three you've got that other piece that's the center so I put a C on it so I remember not to cut that one so with all of these pieces here what you want to do is let me decide which one I'm going to do first so the white piece that I'm going to mat here on this background sit it over the top and whatever direction the score line is, you know, the folds are underneath, that is where you want to cut from. So you don't want to cut from left down to the bottom right. Well, in this instance, because we've got our fold lines going this way, we want to cut from the top right down to the bottom left. So all you need to do is just grab a ruler and I'm just going to grab my pencil very lightly. Just draw a pencil mark there so I can rub it out in a moment just with my scissors and just cut. The reason I like to use my scissors and not my trimmer is because you do run the risk when you're starting from a corner, from a point on your trimmer, it may buckle and catch it, just like I've just done it on my scissors there. Um, and maybe if your trimmer's a bit blunt as well, you just end up ruining your card. I've done it plenty of times. So this way you just kind of avoid that happening. And then I can just grab my rubber and just take out any of the pencil that's left there. Okay, so now those pieces are gonna sit really neatly on the tops there, giving you a nice even border, orange border around, okay? So that's that one. And then I had this one going on top. So again, I know I've got a cut from the top right to the bottom left. So this is that smaller piece of all of the ones that we cut. And again, just pencil mark and cut that one in half. And then this piece here, which is going to go decorate these back pieces, I just remove those. Sit it now on top of, imagining, you know, it's on top of your back piece. Now you need to cut from the top left to the bottom right because this is going in that direction. So, okay, so top left to bottom right. So again, just with my pencil, and I'll just get that cut out. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces cut out, we need to stick them all down. So those ones will be stuck on the back. I'm gonna use my wet glue for all of this because again, whenever you're working with like a point, it's always better to use wet glue because you can get it right into the, all the corners and edges. And then they're gonna go on top there like so. Okay, so that is what we were gonna end up looking, have our card looking like. All right, so I'm gonna go and stick all those down. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. 
and that is also starting to get much stronger because the card I used actually I should have said at the beginning is only 160 GSM so it's quite flimsy but because I knew I was matting and layering on every surface I knew it was going to make it nice and strong so um, that's that done okay so now we can do a little bit of foiling so I'm just going to rub that bit out now because I know where I am so as I said before I'm going to choose the Mr and Mrs here so you get anything like this you just need to cut around the one that you want make sure your surface is nice and clean I can still see that sea a bit there actually maybe I was a bit more there we go okay so you will have a film on the back of it just peel the backing off okay and this will be sticky just make sure you get this all nice and lined up just checking the camera there I was gonna say the mirror that's about right okay now you can rub it with your finger if you want but it ends up getting a bit sore after a while but i'm going to use my bone tool you do get a um lollipop stick that comes in it as well but mine's uh i've misplaced mine i put the film back on top again just to it just kind of helps prevent you getting any kind of indentation in your card any like you know um dents and stuff like that and then just with the bottom part here i'm just going to rub over just like you would with any normal rub-ons. And basically what will start to happen is it will transfer over onto the card, leaving a sticky um, surface for us to then add our foil. So I'm gonna go over it a bit more now. And I'm using, um, this is really flat down, this um, bone tool, just so I don't obviously get any marks on it. So once you're happy, it's all going to be stuck down. Just pick up a corner. Let's see if this will pick up on my um, uh, light at all, so you can see. Just grab the end there. If you can see it. No. Can you see it? Just ah, there we go. <laughs> you can just see. Oh, where is it? The Mr. and Mrs. is just there. We go. It's just transferred across nicely, and I can see that it has all um, stuck down well. So now, grab my foil. Like I said, you get two meters of this, so it's going to last a very long time. So I'm literally going to just cut off all I need. Just a little square in the corner there. Perfect. And then you want to place this whole piece over that and it will stick. I can see there, you can probably pick up, you can see where it's kind of stuck down onto it. Again then with my bone tool, I'm going to just rub over and you can see the foil will start to lift and it will just be clear plastic and that's because it's all of the gold underneath is stuck on our um on our image you can hear it kind of starts to get a bit like rustled rustled yeah it starts to rustle <laughs> there we go and i can see the whole thing's lifted off now so if i just lift that up you can see it's completely come off of there and it is now on here and you can see what a gorgeous finish it gives now you can get this same effect with embossing powder but the difference is with the embossing powder it's raised and it's quite lumpy whereas with this it's completely flush completely flat on my card there so you get a much much smoother um, result with foils so that is that done so now this is going to go in the middle here and I think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to pop some um Find my, yeah, my double-sided tape here, so I'm just going to run double-sided tape down here. Okay, and just get that in the middle. Just come up a bit here so you can see. And just get an even kind of border along the sides and the top and the bottom. Like so. And you can see now how nicely that's all going to be. So, now we need to do the rosette. So, you need your scoreboard again. And basically all you want to do is along the long length, you're just going to score every quarter of an inch okay so quarter of an inch half an inch three quarters of an inch one inch one and a quarter one and a half and so on and do that all the way along 
Okay, so that has all been scored. Now what I've got at the end here, because mine is um, slightly over, I think it was 11 and 5 eighths or 11 and 3 quarters, no it, won't, it would have been 11 and 5 eighths because it's A4. So I've got a piece at the end there that's not quite a quarter of an inch. So just snip that off, okay? So if you've used A4 like I have, just snip off anything at the end. And then all you want to do is start off with a mountain fold. So just fold down and then the next one fold up down and up and you just want to do a concertina fold all the way along just kind of do it just loosely at this point and then when it's all together we can squash it all down okay so that's all roughly um, been folded and then I don't want to get all I might be able to do it all at the same time no see it's, it buckles just kind of get like half of it and just really squeeze like so and it just gives you a really, really tight fold. Again, just get that bottom bit there and just fold that like so. Okay, then what you'll find, again, depending if you've used 11, then I'm not sure whether you'll have the same end, but if you see I've got a mountain fold at the beginning and a mountain fold at the end, this is optional. It's not gonna make a massive difference, but I do find it just gives it a tidier finish cut off the other mountain at the other end so you end with a valley and then when we go to join it together that valley will sit under that mountain and you'll just have one piece of card to stick whereas if that was a mountain you'd stick both bits in and that would be bulky whereas if you just do the one it's just a bit better so i'm just going to grab some wet glue just run it along that valley so the bit that we just cut and then with the mountain sit it over the top there okay so that's the mountain piece there's the glue that's going to go over the top okay stick that all down okay and then when it's dry just fold that bit again just so it's kind of the same as the rest and you'll have that and then you just want to kind of bring in the top of it into the middle until it all spreads out like so then i've got my hot glue on Gonna splodge, make sure you've got a, the surface is uh, heat resistant. So I've got my mat here, which is fine. Squeeze that all together. Sorry, my hand's over the top there. And then with one of my discs, just sit that right over the top. I can hold my finger over it there. And just hold that all in place. Just make sure it's all nice and even. You've got a perfect circle there. Okay, and then flip it over. And some of the glue may have already come out the bottom. This has a bit, but I'm just going to put a fresh bit over the top there. And then with that other disc, sit it over there. These are, I think, a one inch disc. Um, whatever size you've got, really. As long as it covers and just keeps it nice and neat. And there you'll have that. I'm going to stick my um, embellishment on in a minute. Then grab this one, pop it that way. So this is facing you straight. Pop your rosette down. You want it to sit in the middle. And so it's got equal sides here. So I now know that everything on that part, because I want to stick it to this side only, okay? So pop it down and everything on this half, I can just put some glue. So I'm just going to put, oh, keeps getting stuck on there. Just going to put a little bit there and then just a little bit over there. I don't need a lot at all. Turn that back over and just sit that nicely over the top. Get rid of any of those little glue strings. Pull that one off there because I can't quite get my finger in. There we go. And then just grab one of these embellishments which are gonna last me ages. And I will just grab my Actually, I'm going to pop just to keep, because some, I'm not saying these are, but sometimes they're not that sticky. So I'm going to just put a little bit of my hot glue and just stick that down in the middle there. Got a little bit of wiggle room with that before it gets cold. Okay, and there we have it. A gorgeous, really decorative looking card. 
um, and then you open it up and you've got that lovely Mr and Mrs and as I said it stands up really nicely looking this way it looks really good so there's one with your gold and kind of um, I'd say real Moroccan kind of colours but then again so does this this looks like you know like the mosaics and the tiles that you get but they've also got a Japanese feel to them as well especially when they're like that I think they look very oriental but I love them, absolutely love them. So I hope you like my take on them and uh, the designs that I've come up with today. Um, if you are interested in joining the Hobby Base Club, I will share the link directly to them below um, and you can just, um, just find out a bit more if you want. There's no obligation and you don't pay you just pay for each month that you want it. So it's very easy to dip in and out of, which again, a lot of people like to do as well. But you never know what you're getting each month. It's always a surprise. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit, um, hit the thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.